Hello and welcome to uh, this video. We're going to build uh, a maze game in Thunkable. This is part one. I've opened up a template which is available to you and I'm going to build onto this template. So we're here in the game screen. It's our first screen. There's also a game over screen and a template. And the first thing we're going to do is we want to build out our uh, we want to build out our maze screen. So the way we can do is check out what's going on there is on our canvas we have a stage. That is stage one. We click that. We see that there's already some things built in here. And what we want to do is add a couple more sprites um, to make this uh, make this maze a little harder. So we'll pull out one sprite and we can put it say up over here. And then let's just add a couple more. You can put them wherever you want. Make this maze as hard or as easy as you like. I'll add how about one more here. We can do a couple things with these wall sprites. We can turn them. We can make them bigger and smaller. Um, there we go. Let me just put this in there. I'll make it kind of funny looking like that. Okay. So that's the first thing. We've we've added some wall sprites. Please add the wall sprites as you feel uh, inspired. Next thing we want to add to the stage, uh, we want to give a background. And so this first one will go with the uh, jungle jpg uh, that's built in and make sure it, the background picture resizes as a stretch on that scale so we'll do that one all of a sudden we've got somewhere for our uh, some, some add some color to our maze um, we want to add a timer so we got to get off of this stage and we'll actually okay we'll just click up on the game screen and we want to add a timer here uh, because we'll have a, some sort of countdown part of our game and when we add the timer we want to make sure it it fires at one second. We need to make sure that it's looping. Pretty important. Um, we want to add a sound component because we want some music to play uh, behind our, our game here. So we'll add a sound component. And we can just start it with level one music. You're welcome to add your own music, but in this case, we'll do level one music. We want to add a target sprite. So in this case, we have to click on stage one. And it gives us the sprite class options. And we want to add a sprite. So we'll click on Add Sprite Type, and we want to change the name. This will be our target sprite. And we want to change our picture list here. Uh, OK, well, let's add another picture. So uh, I've added a, a pot of gold here. You do not have to use this one, but we could add that. And we want to get rid of uh, the Thunkable Viewer. OK, so we got that. And then we want to drag our target sprite somewhere, wherever we Okay, well, okay. why don't we put it over here? So it looks like a, a tricky maze there. Um, okay, that is part one of the uh, the maze 